Okay, Ben. Uh, tonight we're getting an update on the number of AFM cases in Michigan. The state health department says there are two new possible cases of the polio like illness being reported both in Kent County. So that brings the total number to nine cases under investigation in Michigan and one confirmed case of a child in Wayne County. Nationwide, the CDC says there are 158 confirmed cases of AFM in 36 states. President Trump is firing back, denying he told his one-time personal attorney and longtime fixer Michael Cohen to pay hush money to two women who said they had affairs with him. Cohen is going to be sentenced Wednesday of this week for violating campaign finance laws and for tax evasion. Cohen says he paid the women at the president's direction. As I mentioned, the president denies that. Jennifer Johnson is following it from Washington. Jennifer. Good evening. The president on another Twitter attack today against familiar targets, former FBI Director James Comey and former personal attorney Michael Cohen. President Trump today denying he ever directed former personal attorney Michael Cohen to pay off two women who claimed they had affairs with Donald Trump. On Twitter, the president called the payments a simple private transaction, not a violation of campaign finance laws, which Cohen is going to jail for. People who say this is just about giving women to giving money to, to women to be quiet don't understand the gravity of directing money through money laundering, through bank fraud, through wire fraud. President Trump denies the affairs and his supporters say it was Cohen who broke the law. If you hire an attorney to deal with your issues, you assume that attorney is going to follow the legal bounds. Some legal analysts believe it was Cohen's attempt to negotiate a deal for a Trump Tower in Moscow during the 2016 campaign that may be more serious. I think in the long term, Russian collusion is going to be much more consequential and will lead, I think, um, to criminal charges. The president again attacking former FBI Director James Comey, claiming Comey lied repeatedly to House members during a six-hour closed-door meeting Friday. Comey firing back. We have to remind ourselves the president of the United States of America is publicly announcing that people are committing crimes, they should be in jail, private citizens. That's not okay. Comey will return to Capitol Hill December 17th to answer more questions. The president, meanwhile, is searching for a new chief of staff. John Kelly will leave at the end of the year. In Washington, Jennifer Johnson, Local 4.